Today we're going to be connecting a VAPI agent for our inbound phone calls to Google Sheets so we can get our messages, view them all in one neat interface. So let's hear the agent that we're going to be creating today. Hey Olivia, I am Zachary Phillips, the founder of Onyx AI, and I wanted to call you to showcase you for the lovely audience here on YouTube. All right. That's all she needs. That transcript is going to go to Google Sheets, and let's go over there to view that. So we're going to pop over to Google Sheets, and there is our there is our uh, call that we just did. So you can see my phone number came in, the date and time, and the call transcript, as well as the call recording. All right, to get started building, we need to build a new VAPI assistant. So I've already logged into VAPI here, and I'm going to create a new assistant. I'm just gonna name it Onyx Main Agent. Real simple, keep it the blank template here, and then go ahead and hit Create Assistant. Boom, all right, so that that's that. Then you're going to want to go down to the Resource tab and open up the file titled VAPI Agent Prompt, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab the details out of there. So yeah, this is how that file looks like. I'm just going to take the first message here, go back to VAPI, Put that in the first message and you can customize this to whatever you like as well as you can customize most of this but I'm just keeping it exactly as I wrote it for now and we're just gonna go ahead and put the prompt in the system prompt section okay so that's good there. And then we're gonna to wanna to come over here to model, switch that to GPT-40 mini cluster. Has a little better performance than the 3.5, but still keeps the cost low for the uh, cents per minute on it. Then we're gonna to wanna to hit publish. And now that that is published, we need to go to our settings and then open up our open up our settings here then we're going to want to scroll down here to server url so server url once we're in settings you have to uh, we're going to need to set this because this is how we're going to be able to uh, connect our agent to make.com where we're going to ser uh, serve the connection to google sheets so then we're gonna hop over to make.com next. All right, so here we are on the second tool that we're going to be using to make this happen, which is make.com. Make.com is a great tool for, use, for creating automations of all different sorts. And today we're going to be using it to create a webhook that connects our VAPI agent to our Google Sheets and trans uh, puts a bunch of relevant information from the call into that Google Sheet so that we can easily see that information or ourselves or for our clients. Uh, we use this in Onyx AI for some of our clients as a low cost and low barrier of entry way to get them started. So this is a uh, a scenario of the finished product that we're going to be creating today but what we're going to do here and what you'll do if you're starting on a fresh account you're going to see come come to this screen uh, come to your scenarios and then you're going to want to create a new scenario here and that's exactly what we're going to do right now uh, after you've logged in go ahead create a new scenario and then you're going to want to come down here click the three dots and you're going to go to the resource section grab the VAPI agent sheets blueprint and you're going to want to import that blueprint here choose that file 
find that blueprint on your on your system <clears throat> save that here and then exactly the scenario that you just saw the finished scenario will come up on here now there's a few things we have to set up here before we can finish and uh, before we can go back to the VAPI agent. And the first one is the webhook. So we need to set up a new webhook here and I'm just going to name it something simple like uh, Onyx main agent webhook. Something simple and memorable. Uh, actually, I'm gonna add in Google Sheets webhook just to be even more descriptive so that it doesn't get lost in the lot of webhooks that we have. Anyway, so next thing we have to do is we have to copy this address. See, this is a webhook that just popped up here that Make has created for us. We need to take this webhook, copy it, hit OK, and then go back to Vapi to the server URL that we kept up on, on the other screen. And we need to replace that old server URL with that new one that we just, that we just copied. Yours will, if you're doing this for the first time, will likely be empty here on your, on your Vapi account. And if it's not empty, just go down here and if you already have an organization, you're gonna to wanna to create a new organization and do set this all, all up uh, again so that you can have an empty server URL because it's important that the server URL is linked to this specific agent. So now that that's in there, it's, it, that's all set up. Uh, we'll come back to that later. The next thing we need to do on make.com here is move to the tools section. So in the tools section, if you named your agent something different from mine, you want to change that variable here. If you kept it the same name, you, uh, that, that's fine. You're gonna keep this, keep this as is. Uh, so the, this part we do need to change though. So this squad member one, ID one here tells, tells Vapi which agent to use. And we need to change that. Go back to our assistant, go into the assistant that we just created. And we're gonna come up here to assistant ID, copy that assistant ID, go back and then paste that there. Boom, okay, that's, that's good. This top part is all set up here. So this response is, the, is what make.com sends back to Vapi. And this is all already set up for you. So that's, that's all set. And then this bottom half is the important part that we need to set up here. This is where you're gonna do a lot of your customization. And this is where our Google Sheets connection actually lies. So. Uh, you don't need to worry about this part. This is a parser that removes the plus from the phone number and you can just leave that as is. So we can keep that okay here. But then this is the part that you're gonna wanna customize. So if this is your first time connecting Google, you're going to have to add in your Google account set up a new connection here. It's really straightforward. You name it whatever you want. Sign in with the Google account where the Google Sheet is that you want. And uh, you can grab the sample Google Sheet that is in the, in the resources in the description and then uh, set that up wherever that file is located. That's where you're gonna wanna go. I have, so how we do that here is so you're gonna keep this on search by path, go keep this on my drive, and then you're gonna to want to go and find that file. So we can start at the beginning here, and I can just erase erase all this. Or So start, start at the beginning here, and this opens up all your files here, so you can see a bunch of stuff, and then we're gonna to want to go to the next file level down, 
for me at least, and, and find, find where that file is in our file system and on Google Drive. And then once that's all set up, you're going to need the accurate sheet name. Make sure it's the accurate sheet. Our Google Sheet, if you're using the sample one, is already set up. It's just sheet one, the standard start. Then here's where the customization lives. So these are the different fields that we're gonna be populating in Google Sheets. And we have it set up for a, a couple uh, pre-set up ones already. And those are the ones that you saw at the beginning of the video being sent to Google Sheets. So a couple great ones already. If you're using the sample Google Sheet that is provided in the resources, then you're good to go. These are all set up, but I'll just run through these here so you know what we're looking at. Uh, so this first one here is the phone number, message.customer number. And then we can go further here. This uh, So this gets the call summary. Then this is the date and time. And the uh, we go down here. This is the call transcript and the record message recording URL. So you get a lot of information coming in through this VAPI webhook at the end of the call. And with, this is us capturing just a bit of it, but there's even more that you can capture. This is just, these are just the essential bits that I, I wanted to showcase in this tutorial. So now that this is all set up, we want to go ahead and uh, make sure our VAPI scenario is saved. We want to go ahead, or uh, excuse me, make scenario is saved. Now that it's saved, we want to flip that button to on and click immediately. Click OK. Save that again. And we're going to want to run this. We're not ready to run it yet. Uh, there's one last step that we need to finish before we can call our VAPI agent, and that is setting up a phone number to, to connect our VAPI agent to. All right. So we're back on VAPI here. Now we're in the final step before we can call our agent and make sure that it works. And the last thing we have to do is connect our phone number to the agent. So I've already done this step and I've shown you in other videos how to do this. So I'm not going to import a new number here, but you can see how to do that here. You get your Twilio number, you get your account SID from, and you get your auth token. Find, look at my other videos, see how to do that. I, I've done the, this step. The part that I wanna, uh, hone in on here is that once this number is imported you have to you want to leave all these other selections blank because you get this message here and this message is very important so VAPI is going to send this assistant request to our server URL and we need to make sure that that server URL which actually it doesn't right now matches this webhook here so we have to copy and go uh, go back again to our settings. This happens sometimes where it doesn't save, but we want to go back to our settings here and go ahead in and make sure that this server URL matches matches that that one with, that we just saw there. So we want to go ahead. You have to click it a couple times sometimes to get it to. Uh, let let you copy and paste that server URL in, it, L in there. But yeah, I just did that. So we went to our make scenario, got that, copied that in there. And now that should be set. So let's go back to our phone numbers and just make sure again. Okay, uh, we wanna refresh this now. Let's refresh this one. Give it a one one time refresh real quick. And Okay, yeah, so it again did not like that. And yeah, so now we have no server URL. That's okay. It's just VAPI's weird sometimes. Okay, now that's in there, we got the check mark. I'm gonna refresh that one time on this page 
Just some troubleshooting stuff that you have to do sometimes. No big deal, all right? Yeah, now that's saved there. Let's go back to the other screen, phone numbers, and it matches. So my assistant request is now being sent to that webhook. And uh, yeah, so that's okay. And now we're back on make. Let's run this one time just so we can see it go through. And let's give her a call. See how she, see how she comes through. Actually, one last step that we didn't do. So you can play around with this too. This is part of the customization that you can do of these agents. So I didn't change the default voice. Uh, I really like Eleven Labs Piper, and that's the voice you heard at the beginning of the video. So we're just gonna flip her on there and then republish the agent. Make make sure that that's that that's on there okay so yeah let's just check our google sheet no other transcripts here so make sure that you have set up that google sheet and, and are, are ready ready to do it okay yeah everything's all set let's give her a call and watch watch our watch our agent in action so we can go ahead and call her. Hello, this is Olivia from Onyx AI. I'm an AI agent created by Onyx AI. How can I help you today? Let's start with- So yeah, I just click run again so you can see the second run of this. My name is Zachary Phillips and I'm just showing these lovely people on YouTube and wherever else I'm posting this, how you work. You've done There's plenty. Thank you so much, Piper. Uh, Olivia, excuse me. <laughs> okay. So now that we just ended the call, we can go to Google Sheets. And now that we've seen Google Sheet, or now that we look, yeah, so that is our call transcript that just came through and yeah that completes this tutorial thank you guys so much if you like tutorials like this or you want any parts explained better or explained more in detail Tell me what those are in the comments. And as always, go ahead and smash that like button. Actually, annihilate that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And thank you so much. It helps a lot.